Hi, welcome to the EEV blog, an electronics engineering video blog of interest to anyone involved in electronics design. I'm your host, Dave Jones. Hi, it's time for another drive time rant. I'm on my way to work and here we go. Now, one thing I do um, that uh, I recommend that others uh, try this as well because it's a good way to keep up to date with what's happening in the electronics industry and the electronics job market. Now, although I'm not in the market for another job, I still um, set up watch lists on these job websites. Now, in Australia, we have like a website called uh, seek, seek.com.au, and there's one or two others, but I, I generally just use seek. And um, what you can do is you can set up a watch list for specific keywords or specific um, industries and areas and locations so when a new job comes on the market uh, it will automatically email you an alert with uh, with that job in it um, that matches your criteria now the good thing about this is that you know you can even if you're not looking for a job you can just um, really you can see what companies are out there you can see what uh, you know average salaries are you can see what the latest trends are for what what skills are, are required by the industry and and it's just a, a really good way to keep up to date with the industry like oh like a, a company will pop up on there and I'll go wow I, I haven't heard of them before so I'll go to their website and check them out oh look at the cool stuff they're working on I didn't know we were doing that here in Australia you know things like that so I recommend that you actually um, do that just to keep up to date now I I've I may have mentioned this somewhere before, but I got um, an email alert. It popped up again this morning for a sales position. Um, now, I use keywords, by the way. I use keywords like electronics engineering, embedded programming, and uh, PCB, and, uh, you know, keywords like that, which seem to work quite well. Uh, design, product design, stuff like that. Now... One of the ones that popped up was a sales position uh, for a company who, I'm pretty sure I know who it is, but as usual, went through a recruitment consultant, so they won't uh, name them, but I'm pretty sure I know who it is. And they are, it's an oscilloscope sales position. I've mentioned it before somewhere, I'm sure. And it pays, the amazing thing is, it actually pays uh, $150,000. Australian dollars, which is which is a hell of a lot. Um, you, I know very few people in electronics design who earn anywhere near 150,000. Now you've got to be in, you know, some sort of management or or project management role or something to to sort of, or you've got to be a company director or something to get that kind of money in Australia. Now. Your average salary in Australia for an electronics engineer is, I, I don't have exact figures, so I'm just going on my experience here, and it's, it's probably around half that, you know, 75, 80,000 will be your average electronics design engineer. Now, you know, these people could be designing the actual oscilloscopes. Now, not that we do anything of that here in Australia, except for um, Bitscope and a couple of other smaller players but um, anyway that's beside the point uh, yeah you can be designing these products and getting half paid you know half of what you do for getting to sell them I know that's how the that's how the world works and that's how the industry works but you know it doesn't make it right um, and well well if you know if you can earn 150,000 selling oscilloscopes good good luck to you I guess I mean it's, it's very tempting. Shit, I should go sell oscilloscopes for 150000 um, a year. No problem at all. Um, but I don't think I would... Um, I might be able to get the job, but I don't think I'd be able to keep it. Why? Because engineers make the world's worst salesmen and the world's best salesmen, but hear me out. They make the world's worst salesmen because engineers are too darn honest. If I... You know, if somebody walked up and said, you know, I, I need an oscilloscope for this requirement and this one and this one, and it wasn't the oscilloscope and the best oscilloscope for this person's job wasn't the one that I was selling, then I'd, as an engineer, I'd just have to 
tell them that no, go buy this other one because it's better because etc etc and well I wouldn't get the sale so I'd be I'd be crap at it because engineers are just too darn honest but um, but we also make the best salesmen because we're so uh, usually um, knowledgeable and passionate about the gear so in that respect I would I think I'd make an excellent salesman but if I believe in the actual product but if I don't well it's just not gonna work at all and I'm gonna fail miserably so I think I'll stay away from sales just too darn honest it's just like Dilbert really 